This video will demonstrate using a uh, Dtools custom report for uh, the Tiger Paw integration. Basically, an export of data from uh, Six to be able to be imported into Tiger Paw. So, uh, this is in reference to um, a wiki page that we have. Um, just go out to d-tools.mindtouch.us and do a search here for uh, Tiger Paw, and the page will look something like this. It's still under construction at this point. But um, it has the instructions of what you're going to do, and there is a place here where you can download the file. That's the first of the steps, is to download the attached file that uh, we've already created for you. So once you've downloaded the file, uh, what you're going to want to do with that, um, and what you're actually downloading is a custom report, is import that. So go to Reports, Manage Reports, and choose Import File, and go ahead and grab this, grab the file. And once it's imported, it will display something like this. This one uh, currently is named uh, Tiger Paw Dash Line Items, but it uh, may be something different by the time uh, we actually uh, publish this. And uh, there's just one definition here beneath this, so you can just double click either one of those to run the report for the project of your choice. A little bit about this uh, if you right click the definition and go to Edit Report Definition, I'll show you a little bit about um, this particular report. It's uh, currently set to group on location, phase, and then price. And then uh, there are the parameters tab. Now, this is the important thing where you get to choose the settings. So there's a unique ID over in Tiger Paw. And um, we allow you here to pick and choose how you want that created uh, using two fields, manufacturer uh, and model. Um, and you also get to pick the ID delimiter string here. So um, it's set to zero by default, but that doesn't mean no um, field. It means when it's set to zero that it's going to pull the entire manufacturer name followed by the entire model number separated by what we call the ID delimiter string. And there's a list of things to choose from in here. And a little bit later in the video I'll show you how you can customize this list. But just know that. Um, so if you have a particular way like maybe you wanted the first five characters of the manufacturer name followed by a dash and then the full model number you would put five here and pick a dash and choose OK. And that would uh, allow you to, again, customize that ID format that's going to be going over. I'm going to go ahead and leave this as the default for now. And uh, go back to my projects list here. So go to Manage Projects. I'm going to pick a project here. And I'll run that report for it. So let's go to the Reports tab. You can see that it's listed here. And we'll select that and, and run it. And what this is going to do, it's going to generate in the, um, the Six Report Viewer. and as you can see here. And what you're going to want to do then is go ahead and export this to Excel. Now there are a few settings you need to be aware of. So go ahead and click your export to Excel settings and you're going to want to verify that merge cells is set to true and remove vertical space is set to true. And if both of those are um, both set, go ahead and just choose to export this to Excel. In this case, I'm going to pick, I'll let it go out to this file right here. And you can choose, um, you know, this is sample. I'll just name it. And it's going to export to Excel. And here you can see it opens up. And this is the export that you're going to get. Now, this file is what you would then import into Tiger Paw. And really, that's it. Um, you can go ahead and read the article for more information about what these fields are. But uh, that's the basics of it. Run the report, export it to Excel, import it into Tiger Paw. Now, um, I mentioned those delimiters. Uh, earlier. So before I end this video, I'm going to take you and show you how you can modify that. Um, this is good to know in general how you can modify uh, some parameters. Uh, I'm going to go to reports here and then choose standard report designer. And when this opens, I'm going to choose open an existing report. And we're going to go in here and find that in that uh, Tiger Paw report. Here it is. And once this is open, what you'll do is go up to file and edit the report uh, information, edit Dtools report information. And you can next through the steps here, and you'll see when we get to the uh, parameters tab, just give me a sec, right here. So here's this ID delimiter string. So if you go ahead and click in here, there's a little arrow here, you can add to this list. Like if you wanted to put in like, uh, I guess maybe a double dash, or uh, this one already has a double colon, but maybe you want a semicolon or something like that. Uh, there are certain, uh, characters that will be illegal that you can't use, but um, you can test them out on your keyboard, try adding, let's see if I can do a, a double, that was an underscore, so a double dash. I can add that to the list, you know, save this, and then you've customized that list for the, uh, um, your machine, essentially, for, you, for your company.